Hey Psych2Goers, welcome back. Before we begin, we'd like to mention that this video is for educational purposes only. Please do not diagnose yourself or others. Also, please note that the official term for skin picking disorder is exoriation disorder, the official name used by the DSMV. With that said, let's begin. We've probably all seen people pick at their skin before, whether it's at a pimple, a scab, or a dry flaky skin. However, not everyone who picks at their skin has a serious problem. So what differentiates normal skin picking from abnormal skin picking? One that becomes a disorder. This video will discuss the diagnostic criteria of skin picking disorder or exoriation disorder. According to the fifth edition of the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders or the DSM-5. Number one, the person keeps picking at their skin. People with skin picking disorder repeatedly pick at their skin, often for hours. Skin picking can be automatic. For example, a person could be talking on the phone and be picking at their skin without even realizing it. Or it can be more focused, where the person is well aware that they're picking at their skin. Nevertheless, as a result of the skin picking, the person develops scabs and wounds and feels the need to cover it up with clothing or makeup. Number two, the person has tried to stop picking at their skin. The criteria also requires the person to have repeatedly tried to stop picking at their skin without success. They may have reached out to people to help them stop as well. The potential reason why they find it difficult to stop picking at their skin may be because it gives a sense of relief and feelings of satisfaction after picking at their skin. In short, if it makes them feel good, it's hard for them to stop. Number three, skin picking causes clinically significant distress in other aspects of the person's life. Skin picking causes the person to experience distress in other areas that matter to them, such as their ability to focus in school or at a workplace. The person could feel shame, embarrassment, or humiliation as a result of the way that they act. Examples of clinically significant distress can include avoiding all forms of social contact because they worry about what others might think about them picking at their skin in public, or like avoiding classes because they're worried about not being able to resist the urge to pick their skin in front of other students. Number four, skin picking must be differentiated from other disorders. A common criterion in the diagnosis of other disorders in the DSM is that the disorder should be distinctly different from other disorders. In this case, skin picking cannot be attributable to other disorders. In particular, skin picking disorder needs to be differentiated from other experiences such as delusions in a psychotic disorder, efforts to improve appearance in body dysmorphic disorder, stereotypes and stereotypic movement disorder, or obsessions and compulsions in OCD. And there you have it, the diagnostic criteria of skin picking disorder as described by the DSMV. For someone to be diagnosed with skin picking disorder, the behavior has to be frequent to the point of affecting their performance in everyday life and has to cause them distress. They also have to have attempted to stop picking at their skin. And these symptoms must be distinguished by symptoms of other possible disorders. Have you or someone you know been diagnosed with skin picking disorder and would like to share your experience? What other psychiatric disorders would you like to learn about? Let us know in the comments below. Give this video a like and subscribe to Psych2Go if you enjoyed this content. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.